Hello everybody, I'm going to give you a quick overview of the MCS Star tool to configure our new cross-board product. Uh, to get started, you can launch this tool from ProposalWorks or from the desktop application. So go ahead and open up ProposalWorks and inside of the tools section here, you're going to find MCS Star. Um, previously, this software was used to configure the 141A system and most recently we added cross-board in here and completely refreshed uh, the UI uh, for the cross-board configurator. So once you're inside of MCS Star, you can select configure a bus bar assembly. Uh, this is going to pop up and it's going to ask you about your system information. Uh, this is where you would pick out uh, what electrical standard you're using. So we've got the choice of IEC or UL standards, and that's going to change the application current range for the cross-board. You've also got units of measure, supply voltage, and what bus bar system we're going to be building. Uh, so today I'm going to show off the new crossboard configurator, so the 141C. Um, we'll go ahead, we'll do IEC standards, 480 volts, and then we're going to hit OK. So once we hit OK, you'll see the new modern UI launches. Um, and it's a drag and drop system where you can drag parts from the left into your project on the right. So it's going to give you some helpful text. So with the crossboard system, the first thing that you need to do is pick out your base unit. Um, this is the power bus uh, for each of the devices. So I'm just going to go ahead and drag this over, or I could double click on a crossboard base. Um, you'll see when I add two in here, it automatically puts a connection module to bridge the two together. Um, so step one's complete. I picked out my base units. Next, we're going to decide how we want to feed this crossboard. Um, so if we're going to uh, feed on, from a panel mount short circuit projection device, um, we can pick from these two in the software right now. So I'm going to go ahead and configure a 140G. Um, this is going to pop up in a proposal works configuration window, uh, very similar to what we're used to seeing already. Um, something you'll notice with this tool is it's going to keep track of our SCCR rating for us as we go. So that's pretty handy. Uh, the other thing that this tool will track for you is also your, your FLA. So you don't have to keep track of all your loads in, inside of a spreadsheet anymore. Um, so now we've got our base unit pulled out and put on the DIN rail. We've got our backup short circuit protective device feeding power into this bus system. And now we're gonna start picking out uh, load feeders and devices to go on here. Um, so this is this system really shines in starter mounting. So we've got um, some 190C starters. Uh, so again, this is gonna pop up a proposal works window like we're used to seeing, and we can select uh, different options in our current range application for our starter. So there we go, we, we've already got a starter on the crossboard system. If you wanna copy and paste, uh, press control and then drag off of that starter. And you'll see we just added uh, the same exact starter, multiple of those. Uh, we've also got reversing starters in here. Um, other load feeding options. So we've got a 1489 if you wanted to do a one, two, or three pole circuit breaker to feed, for example, a power supply. We've got 140 MTs if you wanted uh, to configure this and feed off into a, a power flex drive. You could select this for, uh, 140 MT. And this is gonna pick up the appropriate crossboard adapter plus the hardware that you select with the 140 MT. So if you picked up some auxiliary contacts to go with this, it would all get tracked inside of your bill material. Um, other adapters we have, if we don't have the device that you're looking for inside of the software, you can go ahead and pull on a one or three pole adapter. Um, you could also use, say, for example, two single pole adapters to feed a, a device that just needs two poles. Um, when you're putting on just a blank adapter, it's gonna ask you, what's your uh, protection type? So um, let's say we have a one pole adapter on here that's gonna drive our SCCR rating. And again, we're, this is tool is keeping track of your FLA for you. So you can just go ahead and put how much current you plan to draw off that phase. And you'll see it's keeping track of our uh, total current there uh, for you. Um, so you've got one pole options 
you've got three pull options as well. Um, let's say that we went over our, our current on here. You'll see that it's going to warn you and says, hey, um, we're above the maximum allowed current for the, the IEC standard that we select selected here. So it's going to give you a big warning. Um, if we adjusted that back down under the limit, you'll see that goes away. Um, so you can see we very quickly, we already have our layout on the system. There's some cool features. You can rack um, left and rack right. You can change base units. But once we're all done putting our devices inside of here, we can go ahead and click save. And this is going to bring our project back to uh, a familiar environment for MCS star. Um, so you'll see it's started to build a, a bill of materials for us. You've got our total assembly current here, our lowest short circuit rating, so we can kind of find it, the weakest link and, and manage that. Um, the other cool feature is this will actually give you a 2D drawing, a 2D panel drawing um, in DXF format. So if I go to mounting system and click export DXF, you can save this drawing um, right off and pull that right into your drawing set. So that's a nice feature to have here. And then once, once we're all done configuring our system, we're just going to go ahead and close it out. And you'll see it brings back the uh, entire bill of materials into proposal works for you here for ordering. Um, so super easy. Um, it lets you configure your, your entire crossboard system, keeps track of your bill of materials, including some of these supporting devices like starters. It'll keep track of your full load amperage, make it easy to keep track of SCCR and even do your drawing for you. Um, this is a quick quick demo on the MCS star system for crossboard. Um, go go find this in Proposal Works and check it out. Thanks.